Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on stage. I am, I'm the man here. And we're playing Madden 20. Oh, dude, it's so big. We're the Kansas City Chief of Texas. Yeah, we're playing them good old boys. Good old boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, we live there, dude. Did you have like an eight, a cheesy '80s TV show that you like loved watching as like a child? I used to watch the Fall Guy, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I used to know the song by heart. Yeah, dude. I'm the only stuntman. <laughs> yeah, he's in at the end. He's in the so tub of a cigar. Yeah. Like, I just remember the end of it. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That, why was that show so good? I bet now if we watched it, it would be trash. Yeah, I wish I... So, yeah, I used to watch that. Uh, definitely MacGyver. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you ever watched A-Team? No, I was... I was see, that's the thing, Jonas. I swear. It's always, like, some little thing. But I was, like, a little too late for the a team and i because because i was like barely there for the A-team. exactly and i'd like i just missed the a team i just missed it yeah it was like, like that one year different to their age i swear it, it wasn't there's certain things because like, yeah because i didn't watch the a team all the way in my childhood it was it wasn't around i think it was like the tail end of the a team was happening yeah. when i was just old enough to watch tv how about mesh did you ever watch any my mesh? parents did and stuff okay um i've watched like reruns of it all you right. know like like not on my own, essentially, but just like it's on after a show and I didn't turn it off. <laughs> I've just seen a chicken episode and that disturbed me. Yeah, what other cheesy 80s? Do you ever watch like Nickelodeon? Like all those Nickelodeon shows? The dude, come on. I still watch Today's cartoon. special with like the mannequin that would turn into a person when they put the hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible show. How the hell do you remember that? <laughs> Holy Crap, man. And uh and like there was like that little like security guard puppet and there was a mouse puppet, dude. And no, yeah. I don't remember that. Dude. Yeah, it was like dude, it, that used to be like my favorite afternoon show when I was a kid. But I do remember it was the garbage mannequin. as hell, dude. It was the worst show ever. That was the premise of a movie back in the eighties. It was dude. called Mannequin. Yeah. And yeah. then there was Mannequin Two on the run. Oh my god. <laughs> the guys made like the pretty girl turn to turn to light. <laughs> I can't go back that far. No if, I, if I go back that far, I start remembering like just crazy stuff. <laughs> Did you ever watch Ghost Rider? Oh, oh. dude, I loved Ghost Rider. Really? Yeah, okay. I loved it. Okay. It was a little ball that bounced. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I think it was like the ghost of a, of a slave or something. I don't know. What... <laughs> look that up. You got a phone. Dude, <laughs> God, it's like look, the story behind Ghost Rider. Please look that up because I need to know if that's true. <laughs> I, like, when you said that, I'm like, that sounds vaguely familiar. It does sound familiar. Dude, if it was, wow. Explain Ghost Rider while I look it up. Okay. So basically, I don't even there was like kids, and it was like a show, and he would, like, there was this little glowing ball that would, like, bounce from co into their computer screens, but I don't know what the purpose was. Like, what did they it do? Helped, it helped kids read. Like, they couldn't find, uh... They would be having difficulty reading something, and Ghost Rider would like highlight it, and then they could read it better. Yeah, I, do. <laughs> I don't read a know. synopsis because, like, I want to know what the real synopsis of Ghost Rider was. You know, you know I hate in interrupt. Okay, wait. This is <laughs> It says a ghost writer is hired to write a literary. That was a freaking show. <laughs> it, it, was, it was just a show about Hollywood. Like, just a guy writing stories for other PBS people. PBS Ghost Writer, right? That yeah, it was on better. public access. Ghost Rider is a, oh, is a American children mystery television series. Uh, oh, come on, this just gives me dates. Yeah, oh, like, Wikipedia. What about IMDb? Uh, that's not gonna tell me like the the origin of Ghost Rider, which is what I'm looking. For. Oh, I got you. Like how like it, yeah, I want to know what the hell went. I, I remember there was a bunch of kids and they like yeah, it helped them read on the screen, but I don't yeah. remember like why the, what they were doing. Were they solving mysteries? Each mystery was presented as a case covering four or five 30 minute episodes. The children were encouraged to follow each mystery and use the reading and writing clues given to attempt to solve them. Just as Ghost Rider's team does. What? I don't know, dude. I remember there being some sort of like they're trying to figure something out. Yeah. <laughs> but was he a slave ghost? <laughs> <laughs> like, why does that sound familiar to it's me? Because too? I'm telling you. Oh, here it is. Ghost Rider producer Kermit uh, revealed 
uh, Ghost Rider was the ghost of a runaway slave during the American Civil War. He taught other slaves how to read and write and was killed by a slave catchers and their dogs. His soul was kept in the book that Jamal first discovered, who was the creator, and in the pilot episode. Oh my oh, god. Oh, not the creator, but he was one of the kids. What the frick? And when Jamal opened the book, he freed the Ghost Rider X. Yo! That's a deep story, dude. <laughs> Holy crap, that's really deep. It's real. You think, you think of it just being like, like oh, this dumb little ball was like, dirt, dirt, dirt. you're like, no, no, no. He freed a ghost slave yeah. to help him solve mysteries. And Jamal found him. And you know Jamal was black. I'm <laughs> saying it. Wow. I'm allowed. <laughs> I did not agree nor disagree nor say anything. You were There was no thought in your mind that he wasn't. But <laughs> like, oh, Jamal helped him, dude. That's crazy. Dude, I'm glad you brought that up. That's oh. a great idea for a show. Like, it really, like... I mean, it's that's kind of like one of those M. Night Shyamalan twists because right. that wasn't even known until, like, I guess the show had run its course, really. Right. Everyone's just like, oh, Ghost Rider, it's so nice and sweet. Oh, no, it's a ghost of a man who was killed. He was a slave. And it's like, oh, my God. It's, 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 yeah, it's very implied because it's like, why, who, what other ghost would want to teach people to read so bad? Right, Except, that's like, yeah. somebody who died with that as their... Jeez, Jonas, I'm like... You're like woo. reliving your childhood right now. Wow. I mean, I didn't really F with Ghost Rider. Yeah. I mean, it was good. I didn't like watch yeah. it habitually. They should have front-loaded me with the whole runaway slave thing. Then I would have watched it, but they didn't. What other show? Gotta, we're all we're know your audience. show, Where in the World Was Carmen San Diego? Do you remember no, that? Yeah, I do remember that. Uh, Memphis, what was her name? There was the lady, Memphis. Oh, I don't know. I there was the the uh, the lady was the ch the the she was like the chief of police and you go to her desk and she would be like yeah her name was Memphis oh was that who you're talking about yeah or Mavis Mavis Beacon no that was the typing lady yeah I don't know I'm not a name she ran stack Pakistan and run a scam in Scandinavia <laughs> right. she's a sticky fingered filter from Berlin down to Belize yep exactly thank you for I just know the whole song, Jonas. We're good. I swear to you. And they you. had like a live, like a live studio acapella band singing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so ninety. It was, it was like. Yeah. <laughs> Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yeah, that guy, yeah. Deep voice. yeah, that guy like Carmen San Diego. There was that one guy, and he did it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude, it was good. Dude, that was that was good though. It was a good show. It was cheesy, but everything in the '90s was. I never really liked Where in the World. Is. I was I, now look. If you want to get in the Nickelodeon guts, my man. Oh, global guts. Yeah. That. That. Guts. Yeah. Dude, that show was fun. I, I like used to it. watch an F out of that show. I was and like, Legends I was... of the Hidden Temple. Thank you. Okay. They're making. I thought I saw they were making an adult remake of that, they or really a movie should. or something. I think. I think they're making a movie and The Rock's in it. Let's go surprise The Rock in an action <laughs> movie about something cheesy. Dude, he's just taking whatever role will pay him at this point. Oh, dude, he has and so I'm much. Not mad. He's at building him. his uh, empire of money to run for president in like five years. Hey, I'd vote for The Rock. It's working, man. He's taking, like, these these can't be high-paying jobs, but he's just, like, a recognizable name. Yeah? Yeah, like, this, this, this isn't... He just, I mean, he just kind of does action hero stuff, you know what I mean? I think he, in, like, he has kids, so it's like, hey, I can do all these cheesy action movies my kids will enjoy, like... Yeah, but those movies aren't <laughs> really in vogue right now, so they're, they're not gonna be, like, heavily funded. You know, surprisingly, those new Jumanji movies with The Rock... Are, aren't half bad. You watch. The I Jumanji? saw one. They it, uh, sometimes when we go in for meetings at work the, during like lunchtime, they'll put on a movie, mm -hmm. and they did the Jumanji one one time. So I only I didn't catch the whole thing. I only caught parts of it because yeah. it's on. But it was like this is surprisingly not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. But really? I'm not. I haven't watched the rest of them or anything. They're kind of like uh, it's kind of like watching a live action video game. Because like in the thing they'll like they'll like die and all of a sudden they like fall from the sky and like reland because like they have extra lives and, and stuff. I, and you know I do like uh, that movie with Chef Chelios. Oh, uh, uh, Crank. Crank. It's I not. Love that. It's not as out there as that, but yeah. it's kind of. But in that. Uh, yeah, I yeah. like that. I like that aesthetic though. Yeah, it's very goofy, like screwball, like. But it's uh, it's kind of funny because like it's like they took like four high school kids, like there's like a. 
there was like a fuck a fudge in uh there's like a couple girls <laughs> like a like the the prissy cheerleader type a jock type yeah, yeah, a nerd yeah. type but it's funny because like i think the rock plays the girl who's like a cheerleader in like so he's the rock but in the game he's the rock is is her character suit but he's really a teenage girl uh, so he so it's like it and like jack black is like the jock or something so it's like they act all these different ways or kevin hart is the jock and yeah, you know i've heard good things about the movie yeah it's it's it's, 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 it's a cute movie like i wouldn't be like oh dude you better go watch it or you'll miss out I yeah mean, it's, that's it's, kind of how i feel about sonic too. yeah <laughs> i guess that sentiment is basically it was like, right yeah, like it was i was like oh that was well done i was like i was surprised because i was like oh my god they're gonna redo jumanji they're gonna ruin it but yeah they they definitely this is this is the uh the only one that the rock is in man. i don't know i don't I know what the rock all is. the jumanji remakes i think there's two or three now jeez really there's at least two if not a third that was that good huh i guess people like it yeah it's not it, dude it's for me to say something like that's entertaining, it can't. It's not half bad. Cause yeah. like, I'm very skeptical about all that stuff. I'm, you know what, dude? I'm, I'm, I'm starting to realize that if a bunch of people are saying something's good, it's probably decent. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm come to the conclusion. Yeah, it, like, at very least, it's average. Like you know, a lot yeah. of people like you know S it's D and stuff, just because like it is what it is, yeah. like on everything. But like, I would say yeah, if if the if the Population is like going gushing over it. Yeah. I'd say it's at least a six for me. It's, yeah, it's, see, it, yeah. Like I'm not like when Desperate Housewives or something like that or The Bachelorette. Look, these aren't my cups of tea. But I'm sure that if I sat down and watched three episodes of it, I might start to enjoy it. Right. Exactly. On like some sick perverted level. Right. Because if it was absolute garbage, I mean, the the what they're doing and saying and talking about probably is garbage. But they probably are made in a way that yes. are at least enticing that you want to watch. And people have a hard time understanding. Um, you know, you're like where you can where you can say something like, "I'm sure it's well done. I'm sure it, I'm, like the Marvel movies for me. I'm like they're great movies. I'm, they're way great made. They're just not my they're just not my cup of tea. That's I don't. My ish. But I respect. <laughs> That they're good. I can say they're good movies and just not care for them. You just gave me Endgame flashbacks, man. Mm. Almost cried. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did. I almost cried. Oh, man. All right, yeah, Jonas. I, I feel you. Not your cup of tea. It's all but right. I can respect that they're well made. Yeah. They're, you know? That's like, yeah, like, like you said, like reality shows. Like, I'm sure some of them yeah. are made very well. I just, I ain't going to watch it. See, I got in on the ground floor reality shows. Yeah, and me I too. I yeah. myself out. Because we were like the uh, real world, world rules generation. Yeah, but that is like true reality TV. What it is today is not real. Uh, it's still somewhat scripted. It like, was highly influenced even back then, but it was more real. Because right. it, it was, was more in its raw. infancy. Yeah. It was like people who weren't trying to get on reality shows because they were reality shows. It yes. was people like, oh, what's this? This is kind of neat. Yeah. Like People hadn't figured out the algorithms to make it perverted at that point. It right. was still just like, well, let's see what works. Yeah, well, yeah. Like, let's see what these people do when they're forced to live together. Yeah. Remember the, the whole, like, when, so, how do you see when seven people are forced to live in a house and things get <laughs> True real. story. Right, yeah, you take seven, like, clashing personalities and you put them in a space and make them live together. Like, and then make them talk. It's, go it's gonna. <laughs> It's gonna cause stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you know, ish is gonna get real. Yeah. Oh. And you and, and the thing is, is that even back then it was pretty perverted. They were like, "All right, we need strong personalities. We need people who right. are gonna clap." They're not gonna pick me. Right. They pick people who are like, look at Puck. <laughs> like, look at TNT Dynamite playing video. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you know, it's like, yeah, I got you. But like, they, get, you know, they get people, and they would put Watching like, they YouTube. would get the, like, because I remember back then too, they had like that one dude. He was a gay dude, and back then that was like very much more taboo than it is now. Yeah. So you put him in a house with like a guy like Puck, who's just like a punk rock like underground <laughs> club kid, oh, like, and then you have like hoity toity like chicks and like just right you know it's like there's just a lot of personality. I have to, I have to say that Road Rules was definitely superior to Real World. Road Rules, the premise was is that they had to go from, like, point A in America and visit, like, different spots, and they had to do challenges right. at every every destination, and then they would go from point B. So I don't know if they went from, like, West Coast to East Coast or East Coast to yeah, West Coast. Yeah, I remember. And they, yeah, they would stop places and do stuff, but they still had to, like, travel together and, like, all that sort of stuff, yeah. so it was different. I just thought that was a superior show. You yeah. know what other reality show from early days gives a, gives a true shout-out for me? Survivor. Fear Factor. Is that reality, though? 
The Fear Factory is basically prank a prank show. No, it's, but they have to do punked. challenges. But it's like challenges based on stuff that people have severe fears over, like That's heights like, and like. See, I would think Fear Factory is more like a game show. Oh yeah, but there's a pro rules was a game show too. <laughs> Survivor's a game show. Was Road R- Rules a game show? Or Somebody was, won. It was more of a reality game show than than it was a marriage of reality and game show. Right. Whereas like that birthed reality game shows like Survivor. Yeah, yeah. Amazing race. Because like Survivor is is less reality. It's reality for this thirty minutes about these people as much as exposition as we can fit on these individuals in that. But team. it's about like moving yeah. the moving the show forward, yeah. eliminating people. Yeah, and like oh, but, she's yeah, re- scared. She's really scared. Like reality. That's the teacher. She's really scared. Right. I know her. They said she was a teacher. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and then like, but ro- but real or uh, real world was just like people. Li- they weren't even like working in ish back then. It was just literally stick you in a house all day. Like then late in the later <laughs> ones they made them have jobs and things. You know, It'll force you to get drunk. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you got to drink. I'm sorry. Too Here. Drunk. Go, you gotta go out tonight, free drinks. Oh, okay. You know they did one in Austin. I would like to go back and watch that now that we live here, just to see what it was like. Yeah, I mean it would be entertaining to watch. I'm sure it'd probably be trash as f, but like, yeah, it'd be funny to be like, oh, they're downtown and oh, they did this, and it would just be. It's okay. like if they did a real world Cleveland. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, it'd be boring. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, we're going to 6th Street again. <laughs> like, why does it smell like fish? <laughs> Everywhere Is the I river go. river on fire? <laughs> I, uh, I find that TV from back then doesn't translate well. No, but, I mean, uh, it does well, not. I hate almost getting sacked all the time, which is what happens in this game. Well, we are talking about, like, aversion to certain programming. Like, now I have a complete aversion to... Uh, to uh, reality TV because oh, me too. Like, yeah. of the, the fact that I saw too much of it. I, I've never seen an episode of Friends. I know. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm not surprised. Have you seen Friends? I've seen some, but nothing that I ever watched in my own. It would be like a, a same situation of like, it would be on like a channel after the show I was watching was over and it would just be on or like I've been somewhere and somebody was watching. But I have never on my own been like, I'm going to watch Friends. I was not a friend. Is, is Friends good? Because a lot of people, it is considered like one of the best shows. I would to have ever to be say, created. as far as shows like that go, yes, it's good. Okay. But like, is it my thing? No, it's too. It's too. Like, I don't like those things where it's just like everybody's happy. Let's all be together. We're great friends. Let's just do cool things. Like it's different. Like Seinfeld was that sort of show too, but in a way different way. Yeah. It was like a dark kind of like. Ooh. Friends was like a fake was, happy-go-lucky thing. Seinfeld was driven by a lot of anxiety. Right. <laughs> a lot of anxiety. Yeah. George was a nervous wreck. Kramer was a nervous wreck. Jerry was always afraid of everything. Exactly. Even, even Elaine, was. it was all anxiety. But uh, I get what you're saying because everything that, was always happy. Nothing, right, nothing bad. Like, issues. It was more yeah. like a family sitcom than yeah. like a like. And you know, until you said that right now, I never put two and two together that Seinfeld was a basically a show about four people with like crazy anxiety. <laughs> it is. And it's and like even and like the it. family, like his mom and his George's mom and dad, yeah. they were anxious. Like yeah. Newman, anxious. Yeah. Even that uh that that gray haired dude that Elaine dated for a while and it was in the show for a while. Duh. He he was. Anxious. Everybody was anxious, dude. That was yeah. yeah. It was going on. I'm just now putting that together. It I was loved like, it, man. And, and it was like 90 percent of the problems that happened in Seinfeld could have been solved. You were just like, like <laughs> just tell the truth. Like George with the whole moving his arm thing, or the fact that his wife died from licking stamps. Like all that could have been solved. You was just like, yeah, it happened. You know, right. but he never did. He was always like, nope, I'm standing on this. I'm not gonna let anybody know. Can't lose any face because that would be crazy. Right. Can't. It was just like mental disorder. But yeah, dude, and that I mean, that's why it was so relatable. That everyone was like, oh, I, <laughs> everyone could relate with someone in that show. <laughs> You're like, oh, I get it, George. <laughs> yeah, George. Right. Mm. So I don't know. Yeah, that's a good. Wow. Wow. All right. <laughs> that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Make sure you come and watch every single episode we have. There's only about 2,000. Yeah, if you can't do there. it, then do it anyway. But for Jonah, TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out.